Hi, this is a quick video showing you how to set up the Power BI integration with your role center in Dynamics Nav 2017. I've also set up the Microsoft Power BI content pack for Nav, which is available for free. So I'm here in my role center and we see that in my standard role center, if I just pop down here, I have Power BI reports, which is a part in the role center that's not currently configured. Now I'm just going to Customize my role center pane to make that show towards the top. So if I jump up to the application menu and I go to customize this page, what I want to do is move that across and then up. Then I say OK. And that's now ready for me to actually activate things. Now I do have a Power BI account already and I'm here logged into Power BI service. I've got some dashboards that have been shared with me already and in my workspace at the moment I don't have any reports or, or dashboards of my own. So what I'm going to start off by doing is going to get data and if I go to services and if I type in nav to search for the content pack I can get the Microsoft Dynamics nav content pack. This is a free content pack that as long as I'm using items, then it will give me some useful information pulled from my um, item ledger entries. At this point, I do need to have a URL ready that's my OData feed URL that's been exposed to the outside world because Power BI service will need access into the nav database to extract the data. If this hasn't been set up, then I can't proceed. Within nav, if I go to web services, what I'm looking for are these queries. They're there by default within nav 2016 and 2017. And in the background, I need someone from a technical IT support nature to have exposed these to the wider world, which normally you would also protect with an SSL certificate so that you are secure. So I'm going to paste in the external link to the company within NAV that I've got permissions to access. I'm going to say next. And I need to give it my authentication credentials. Now I'm using NAV user password on this account. If I was using Office 365 credentials, this may not be required. Now the whole process from now on should be automated. I've got a data set for Microsoft Dynamics Nav for this particular company that will pull through information It's refreshing now. It will populate a report and a dashboard, all of which have come through configured by Microsoft. So I've now got a data set. So now things are ready. I can go and view the dashboard straight away. Here's the dashboard that's available to me out of the box from this content pack from Microsoft. I've also got the report that's behind it, which has multiple pages. Each of these pieces of the report can be pinned as tiles into the dashboard or entire page of the report can be pinned as a live page. So here each of these tiles actually if I click it takes me through to a page within the report that that tile is linked to. In the background I've now got a, a data set which I can explore various queries and I can also go ahead and create a report from scratch if I wish to using these. Now I have a report in my Power BI account and I also have some dashboards shared with me that will give me access to the reports behind those dashboards because how they're configured. 
what I want to do is in nav I'm to set up the integration in my role center so I can view all of these reports within nav and I will be able to access any report that I've got within Power BI not just the ones that relate to NAV so if I go back into NAV I've got Power BI reports up here at the top so if someone from a technical or IT support background needs to have created a client app for NAV within Azure and run the assisted setup within NAV to set up Azure Active Directory. Once that's been done, myself as an end user can simply click Get Started with Power BI. I need to authorize the Azure services for myself as a user and sign into my account. That's successful, so I'll now say OK and we're good to go. So initially you might want to click on select report and you can see here I've got the Microsoft content pack that I have actually just installed. So if I go to edit list, select that one, that should now pull through. Obviously within my role center I can expand or collapse the various parts and things resize accordingly. So if I want to give us a bit more room to work and don't need to see the other parts at the same time, I can simply minimize some of the other parts. So here we go. For now I've got this overview of that report. If I want to work with that report in more detail, I can click expand report. I then get a new window that confirms the name of the report I've been looking at. And if I expand this window, I can choose particular pages within that report. And I can interact with the data. Now I do have other options open to me. So if I go to select report, choose edit list, and then I select the other reports I've got access to. These are access granted to the dashboard has been shared with me but if I had any other reports myself they would be shown here too so I want to have a look at my non-nav data this first report looking at my YouTube statistics and Google Analytics looking at our website if I say OK I've now got three reports available to me within my role center the Power BI report that's from generated by Google, Google Analytics if I click next report, I have my YouTube data report, which shows my most popular videos on our YouTube channel. And I have the Microsoft content pack that we saw earlier. And again, for any of these reports, so here's the YouTube channel report. I can go to expand and I can interact with each page within that report. And that's it. Thank you.